Hi, big guy. Look at that good boy right there, guys. So, hanging out in Palm with Casper, doing another one of our little Croc Talk podcasts. Hear him right there. So, uh, we're going to talk about today is alligator diet and, you know, what they eat and how their diet influences behavior. That's really the focal point, you know. Um, we can touch on, like, you know, what they eat, but yeah, let's talk a lot about how feeding them influences their behavior because one of the most common questions or common theories that you'll see in my comments section everybody sees my videos like oh well you must have just fed him or he must be kept well fed and that's why he doesn't bite you and you could not be more wrong okay so uh let's well first you know, let, let's hit on the idea that people think that if I feed him, he's going to like me, okay? Uh, this is a very, very pervasive myth that we get a lot with these guys. People think that, well, if you feed him, he's going to bond with you, and then he's not going to bite you because he sees you as his caretaker. Uh, that's not how these guys work at all, guys, okay? Uh, you know, I always say it's an alligator, not a Labrador. Uh, feeding him does not make him see you as a friend or provider. He sees you as a walking hunk of meat. If you feed him that just means, or if you brought more meat, that just means it's a buy one, get one free on the meat deal right there, okay? You're a walking hunk of meat, you brought more meat, it's a buy, it's a buy one, get one free, okay? That's kind of the phrase I always try to say to people. Uh, so no, you cannot feed him to make him bond with you like that, okay? Now, on the other hand though, um, by feeding him, he does, uh, it, it does make him less afraid of me. Like when I have a brand new wild alligator and I'm trying to get him more used to me, I'm gonna feed him, not because it makes him bond with me, but because it makes him want to come closer because he wants the food. It doesn't make him any less likely to see you as the food though. That's important, okay? Um, I will feed them and that helps get them to, uh, you know, again, not be as afraid of me and wanna come over and get the food, but it doesn't, it doesn't make him less likely to want to eat you. It makes him less afraid of you because he sees you as a food source, but you're also the food still too, okay? And on that note, um, you know, a, a lot of people also think like, well, it's going to see you as the provider or something like that, or that they're going to think in like a future sense, like, oh, well, I better not eat him because if I eat him, then I won't get food later. They don't think like that. They don't think in future tense like that. He does not plan or anything like that. That's not true either. He's not gonna be like, oh, well, I better keep this guy around because he gives me food, and if I kill him, I won't get food later. Absolutely, 100% not the case, okay? That is totally fictitious. These animals do not think like that at all, okay? So that's a really important myth to uh, get rid of right there. Um, now, the other really big one that everybody always thinks is like, oh, well, you just must keep them well fed. I tell you, dude, the line well fed is like the bane of my professional existence working with these animals because everybody's like, oh, they're just well fed. And so they won't buy. Oh, they're well fed. Well, dude, if I hear well fed one more time, I swear to God, guys, okay, <laughs> and now all the comments are going to be well fed. But, uh, but you know, I, you know, people say this one all the time that, oh, they're just well fed. And so they won't bite because they're full. Not the case. Um, I talk about this one a lot in my other videos. I have literally watched uh, multiple times at this park I used to work at, the way they would feed the alligators is they would have a big front end loader, just a bucket full of literally hundreds of pounds of raw meat, and they would just dump it in there. And all these alligators would come up and just gorge on the meat. And you would watch all the gators eat and eat until they overeat and they puke it up, and then they just eat the puke back up beautiful smell right there okay so uh they don't really get full like what people think you know people imagine like oh they're just well fed so they're full so they won't bite because they're not hungry they eat till they puke and then eat the puke back up they don't get full like how people think they would now to give that a little bit more explanation they do uh it, you know when they overeat like that it will um it will decrease their motivation to eat more but they're still going to eat more and so I guess a good way to think of that, like to give it a little bit more uh, flesh on the bones there, is a great you know, analogy for what we're talking about. Um, a very hungry alligator is more motivated. A very full alligator is less motivated, but will still kill you. And, you know, I don't usually say that in the shorter videos just because people, uh, you know, people are dumb, honestly. You know, I mean, that, <laughs> that, yeah, I, sorry to say that's what it is. People are dumb when they hear that. They're like, oh, OK, so then I'm safe. I'm like, no, there, there's degrees of motivation. He'll still get you. 
I'm not saying it's safe. I'm not saying it makes him unable or unwilling to bite you at all. I'm saying it's less motivated, but he will 100% still get you. And so that's why I kind of avoid saying that just to protect people from their own stupidity because they're like, oh, so now it's safe. And if I feed him, it won't bite me because it's full. And I'm like, no, that's the opposite of what I just tried to explain. But I've, you know, I've been in this game, you know, doing this kind of work for over 20 years and I've seen it. You know, you tell people that and they're like, oh, okay, so that means it's safe now. And they walk away thinking, I'm like, no. And then somebody gets hurt, you know, I'm like, yeah, but you said, I'm like, no, that's not what I said. So that's why I do try to be very careful in how I word these things. Um, so again, well-fed doesn't mean won't bite. Okay. It might make them a little bit less motivated, but it still bites you. Absolutely. And, and, and what I mean by less motivated is like, he's not going to like come like running after you. I mean, none of them are going to come running after you, but he's, he's going to be less likely to try to pursue you. But like, if you're this close and he thinks he can grab you, he's, he's going to grab you. You know, I guess that's really what I'm trying to get at there. And if uh, you want some clarification on this, or if you don't believe me, this is my favorite one to tell people, let's just look it up online. Um, thankfully, a lot of these videos are pulled off of YouTube because they're too graphic, but some of them still exist out there and there are you know like dark web stuff but either way what i'm getting at is there are plenty of videos showing an overweight obese animal does not need more food is as well fed as it can be overweight doesn't need more food shouldn't be hungry based on what people are thinking guy goes to feed it rips his hand right off swallows his hand right in front of his face i mean that right there that's that's the best example to give people to just defeat the entire notion of feeding them makes it safe, okay? Uh, there's plenty of videos showing that. Guy gets his hair ripped off by an alligator that, or a crocodile that he's feeding that is well-fed, that does not need more food, still bites the hand that feeds, okay? Um, that's the best example right there is they will bite the hand that feeds, rip it off, and swallow it right in front of the feeder's face with no remorse or hesitation about it. Even if that guy's worked with that animal for the last 20 years, even if he raised from a baby, they still will rip off a chunk of you, swallow it right in front of your face with zero remorse about it. So that's the big one that I just really try to, you know, get people to understand there. Uh, feeding them is not going to make them nice. It's not going to make them like you. It's not going to make a... Uh, an animal um, just love you, you know? I mean, that's the other thing people think, you know? Or, or it's not gonna make them your pet. It's not gonna make them domesticated. See the last video for more of an explanation, uh, more of an explanation on the domestication thing. But, you know, it's just this pervasive idea that people think that if, oh, if I feed it, now it's my friend and it won't hurt me. That cannot be farther from the truth. And in fact, in Florida, they, it is illegal to feed alligators in the wild because it makes them associate people with food and then people are the food. It, that's the number one reason somebody gets grabbed by an alligator in Florida is because they're feeding them. So they make it illegal. And you know, I have my own opinion that they also make it illegal because a lot of the officials are sick and tired of Florida getting bad press uh, for alligator attacks when it's not an attack, it's some moron feeding it, thinking it's going to act like a dog, and then it bites the guy, and then it's all over the news as an alligator attack, and then people are afraid to come to Florida. Like, here he comes right now. Are you going to come over and try to bite me? That right there, if I wasn't paying attention, that's him coming over, and he would bite me in the leg right there if I'm not paying attention, even though I feed him, and I take care of him, and I've been working with him for 20 years. Now, it's not like a vicious attack, but that's totally him doing a little lazy, like, lean over with his mouth, like, Mah can I bite this guy? Is he paying attention? And that, as subtle as it is, that's literally how it can go from like this slow motion, lazy, like, ah, it's not even trying, right? Because I stopped him. But if you didn't stop him, that lazy slow motion, and then he slowly contacts you, bam, full grab, and then death roll. And then your leg is separated from your body, right? So that's what they do right there. Even though I've worked with this gator, you know, for 15 years and I feed him and take care of him and all that stuff. He'll still bite me just the same, you know um, I just can't stress it enough. You know, they're not pets. Uh, they're not tame. He's trained You know, I work with him all the time and he now that I caught him He's he's fine again, you know, but he's an opportunistic predator and he's gonna creep over and he's gonna see if he can try to get me You know, uh, I gotta be really really careful with that now, talking about the diet, though, what do they eat? So in the wild, they are opportunistic predators. They like to eat smaller things, raccoons, turtles, fish, birds, all that kind of fun stuff. 
and uh, look at him, he's still creeping around me right now. Um, now in captivity, we feed him a variety of meat. Usually in my videos, I mainly feed him in my videos a lot of uh, chicken, white meat, doesn't have blood on it, just because I've run into problems, especially with like TikTok where, I got mosquitoes flying around by the way, uh, but on TikTok, they flag you for literally everything, um, you know, so that's like graphic content. Although I barely use TikTok anymore, so I should probably just post the uh, red meat now anyways, just because, yeah, I'm so sick of TikTok. But anyway, so that's why I feed him in the wild. Now, as far as their frequency of eating, um, we mainly in captivity, we'll feed him about once a week is what is normal. Uh, in the wild, he might eat once a month or once every several months at a time. And in a survival situation, a large healthy alligator can go an entire year without eating anything at all. Now that's survival though. He's not happy about that. That is not fun for him, but they can do it. And, uh, you know, they will survive that because they're not producing their own body heat. So they eat a fraction of the amount of food that we do. So even a gator like Casper, he's 250 pounds. He eats less in a year than like a 30 pound dog does because, you know, a dog is a warm blooded mammal that produces their own body heat, uses his food intake on heating himself and is very active. You know, alligators are relatively sedentary, comparatively speaking. And man, he's being all kinds of creepy. Let's let's try to bring his head up. Come here, you. There you go. He's creeping around down there. I hate it when he does that. But um, but anyways, though, so yeah, they uh, they don't eat nearly as much as you think. But then people also misinterpret that as meaning that they won't eat. It's like, no, 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 no. He'll eat every single day if I offer it. He'll eat until he's going to kill himself, okay? <laughs> it's not like he doesn't want the food. We only feed him once a week to try to mimic their natural diet, you know, and what's healthy for them. These mosquitoes, man. Nice big one right there. But, um, but yeah, so that, that's what we do to try to mimic more of a natural, healthier diet is just feeding him once a week. But if you offer it, he'll eat every single day and eat himself to death. So that's what I mean on that. So a lot of people misinterpret it like, oh, well, they only... If he can go a year without eating, then if he eats, I'll be fine going swimming in the pond for the next six months and he won't attack. It's like, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, I, again, like we were saying earlier, the motivation might be lower, but he'll still bite you, you know, and he'll still try to eat you. Don't get me wrong, you know? So it, it is a lot more complicated and nuanced than people think, just like most topics are, you know, it's not just like one little sound bite's gonna cover it all. But uh, yeah, I think that kind of covers most of it. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions, uh, you know, what you guys think. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll probably have to do an update on this because I'm sure there's some stuff I missed in there. But let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed it.